everybody welcome to my channel today we're going to be making a teapot treat box um, like a place setting for a little tea party um, that's coming up that's what I'm using them for so I have several different floral papers that I have cut these little teapots out of and I did use my Cricut for that so there's several different patterns um, let's see there's one more right here so um, I'm gonna flip up a photo of what the screen looks like in Cricut Design Space where I had all these teapots lined up to cut out and then I'll let you see that and then we'll be right back to make the box. Okay, so once I have all the um, teapots cut out, what I did was kind of, um, this one is coming apart here, let me grab another one. What I did was I kind of measured the back of the teapot so that I knew I didn't want you to be able to see the treat box I wanted it to be something where it would just make it stand up and be big enough to put a few pieces of candy in there so what I did was I just measured the back of the teapot that would you know you would cover it and it wouldn't be seen and that's how I came up with the measurements for this box so you will start out with a piece of paper or cardstock that's four by six and on the four inch side you're going to score at one and a quarter and two and three quarter and just give it one rotation you're going to score um, on the six inch side you're going to score at two three and a half and five and a half and that's all the scoring that you have to do I've also made a little template here um, which shows once I've done all my cutting and where my adhesive goes because I'm making several of these like I said they're little place settings for a Mother's Day tea party that um, we're having so what I'm going to do is I'm going to these little rectangles in the corners I'm going to cut those off and that's going to leave the middle flap which is going to be our fold over flap to keep everything together then what we're going to do is cut in on the other score lines and this is important because our box is a small treat box so any extra bulk that you can get out of the way the better that way it folds up a little bit better so this is not exact by any means but you're just cutting in at an angle on those score lines and cutting those score lines out then what I did was the two middle pieces, what I um, I cut some of that off as well to cut down on some of the bulk. You don't have to measure. You just make sure that you leave enough to where we can adhere the um, other two sides. So let's get rid of that. And like I said, I have my template here. So the, where you see the score tape, that's where we're going to apply our adhesive. And because I made so many of these, or I am making so many of these, I'm actually using my, um, my tape gun for this. So I'm just going to apply the adhesive where I have score tape on my template. So I'm just going to go around and hit all those spots. Okay, so now I've got all my adhesive on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle part, or middle flaps, and kind of fold them in. And we're going to say that the, um, the side with the flap is the front, and it's going to go over, it's going to overlap this one here on my right hand side. So when we fold it in, your left is going to go over your right. And because we cut out on the bottom, we cut those notches out on those score lines, it's not going to match up perfectly here in the bottom, but it will at the top because we didn't cut anything off at the top. So when you fold it in, don't look at the bottom. You're going to look at the top when you match things up, and you're going to line it up at the top. And then you're going to just press everything together. And then as you'll see, this doesn't match up exactly, but that's okay. That's all right. So we'll do it the same on this side here. Now the flap is on my right side, so my right side will go over my left side. I'll match the um, top sides up, kind of pinch everything together to get that adhesive to stick, and then now there's our box. Now we're just going to take our index fingers, and we're just going to kind of push in to make it fold in just like that. Now what I'm putting in these treat boxes are just a few pieces of candy. I have a Hershey's Nugget. I have an Andy's Mint. And I have a hard lifesaver candy that's wrapped. It's going to go in there. I'm going to give it a little tug with my index fingers and kind of pull it all together. Take my flap. 
and just press it down. Now, on the original that I made, I didn't make it long enough, and so you really need that half inch flap to, um, to make everything stick together, all right? And to make everything, make sure things don't come apart, because this is my first, I guess, prototype. This is the first one I made, and I didn't make my flap big enough, and so they keep coming apart. But I just did that on a few, and then I figured out I needed to redesign the box. So um, this one works out much better. I take my score tape. This is inch score tape. It's kind of excessive maybe, but I don't really use it a whole lot, so I thought I would go ahead and just use it in this application. So the side that I flipped the flap over on right here, I put my score tape there, and so now when I put my teapot on, it's going to actually kind of help hold things together because we are um, kind of sealing that flap again. So I put my adhesive there. I'm going to get my little teapot. I'm going to put it down so it lines the bottom of that box because I want it to be at the bottom, but I really don't want you to be able to see it. So just it's barely at the bottom. And then when I stand, stand it up, which I know that's not the best angle for the camera, but when I stand it up, the teapot is standing up and is just supported by the box in the back. So that's the project for today. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time.